hello and welcome to the baby assassins everyday weekly review and uh, today we're gonna talk about episode 8 so the second episode of the second story arc even though the first one last week was more like a little break between these two um story arcs and this one is the job rotation arc it seems um that means jobs will rotate who would have guessed and uh, we have a lot of new characters and first we have a little bit of a like very weird recap kind of things like stuff happens that reminds us of a little bit other things it's a very 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 strange how this um episode is um constructed um similarly strange uh, be because we have two directors here we have uh wataru kudo i think and yugo sakamoto who share this episode and it feels very much like a two-part thing like I said, the first part is very much um, back to the roots, back to the basics, a little bit stuff that resembles. Um, and the other one actually continues the storyline. At, at first I thought, what, what, what is this episode? What kind of weird mix-up is this? Is it just stuff thrown together? Does it make any sense like first we have the two girls um training and people applauding because they are so amazing and wonderful and that's very cute it's a little bit uh yeah no and then they roll around uh, have a picnic or something it's, it's nice and then they meet um the uh, uh dead body disposal lady to go to a cat cafe, which is filmed like a gravier, idle, erotic video. You know, this like very intimate, floaty camera with very uh, relaxing music in the background. It's very, very strange. And you're just waiting for them to uh, take off at least some clothes. It's very strange. Of course, it doesn't happen. That's not the uh, kind of show, but... Uh, it's very much filmed in this way and it's very strange and uh, why is this here why are they just going to a cat cafe does it fulfill any purpose in the story um maybe yes and uh, after that they meet this um uh, this is man who just randomly bumps into people to hurt them and uh, he's all sweaty and panicky and um, blames them for having trouble with his job and another man comes and uh, bumps into him and they get into an argument that uh, gets resolved by beating them up and basically uh, after that we have another episode with the two girls uh, going home and a policeman stopping them and uh, being like, oh, can I see what's in your bag? And in the bag, there's something that he's not supposed to see and it escalates. And we have the, uh, 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 their boss and the uh, corpse disposal dude uh, in the sauna um, who then get involved in this. And it's all very loose. It doesn't make any sense. Why does it happen? Uh, it's weird and then we have the fade out and uh, something new starts and suddenly they are in the job rotation system that the uh, uh, professional killer uh, organization has and that means that Chisato is suddenly in a more like business office where they throw around money like crazy and everybody is super intense and uh, pumped up and crazy a little bit like wolf of wall street and um yeah mahiro ends up with at uh, this guy who who has a uh, nicer hair than me is like I, I need some wind to, to blow here and then can be like like him um who um 
sits at the river and piles up stones and looks very weird. That's of course Tokyo Emoto, the most likely villain of the story arc. Um, and he's uh, very weird and he explains his job, which is basically to purge. Like uh, he's responsible for internal affairs. That means if uh, some killers don't kill the way they're supposed to kill and do stuff that they that's not wanted, uh, he's gonna kill them. So he's basically the killer killer. And uh, yeah, basically Mahiro is the uh, killer killer assistant killer. And uh, yeah, that's what they're gonna do probably next episode. Um, yeah, it's very strange and all very loose. And I thought about why is it that way and I came to the conclusion it's like that because um, yeah obviously now they are separated so I guess they wanted to show us and remind us a little bit more of the daily stuff the common stuff that they have that they do together and how they uh, spread joy and love together like first they have um this training montage with the people celebrating and cheering for them. Um, this whole with the with the bump guy um, gets resolved by punishing him and the other guy who shows up and uh, forcing them to be friends. And that's the conclusion that uh, you need violence to stop violence and uh, nothing else helps. All right, that's the conclusion we should draw in line. We need to use force to punish, to make people be nice. Vollkommen, vollkommen, vollkommen logical, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, that's basically the conclusion we draw here. And uh, yeah, then we have this uh, with the uh, policemen where they have to try to get out of the situation together. And in the end, they just involve the other people who are around them. So we have somehow the boss, we have the two corpse disposal people and them and everybody has a little adventure and we pick up some stuff from before and it's all very cute and reminds us that here this is what we have and now we split this up and do something different and then yeah it makes kind of sense. It's still a very weird episode. It's a very focused on the comedy elements. There's almost no action. Of course, they have their little sparring or something, but it's uh, not not really action. We have some playing with cats. I guess that's the greatest action we need. We need more girls playing with cats filmed with a floaty, airy camera and uh, to make the horny guys wait for them to take off the jacket or something. I don't know. Um, very strange episode, super weird. Um, every scene looks different and uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, fun, it's good. The people in the office, in this business office, are all completely crazy and that seems very fun. And just now I noticed that this time I forgot to record uh, the audio with a proper microphone, so we're back to the bad audio. I'm very sorry for that, but I guess it's a short episode and you will be able to forgive me, I hope. Um, yeah, I guess that's almost everything I can say about this episode. It's very weird. It's very strange. It has some very, very nice moments. It has some very weird moments. It's more like a um, transfer episode, um, like to build up the stuff that comes. I'm usually not a fan of this, but it, it's still good fun. Um... Yeah, I, I usually prefer things in TV shows where we have like one story for one episode. Here we have like four stories and then two things that lead to the rest. So I'm willing to forgive, but I would prefer if we get a little bit more... Um, I, I don't even want story driven. I just want uh, focused on uh, episodes like the, the early episodes, like number two, uh, for example, where they get into this Isakaya and have their mission. No? 
or this I, I, I don't know it, it feels very much like at some point they are more into this little bit here little bit here little bit here a uh, little bit for this episode and then a little bit to get to the next one and I'm, I'm not sure how much I like that I, I think I prefer the classical episodical I mean it still can lead to something but I prefer TV shows having like a clear structure for one episode so you can sprinkle your your clues for the follow-up but I think each episode should have a clear finish and a clear story and here's just more like sketch show and then a little bit build up and um, not the best episode still very good very fun but uh, more thing that you can probably enjoy in context not so, not so much as a single episode and uh, yeah we will have to wait and see where that leads us but I mean we have only four episodes left so I'm really like I mean the first season started a little bit similar like we had I think three episodes that were pretty much stuff and then we got into the bigger story if I'm not wrong I mean the third episode I think already led a little bit more into the bigger story but yeah basically I guess I will figure it out and do something interesting here but uh, yeah yeah not my favorite episode not the best um still good fun and uh, let's see what comes next and i guess that's it for today thank you very much and uh, yeah let's, let's see what uh, the future brings in about one week see you